But the football we're playing at the moment is absolutely sensational to watch at times. Those interchanges, everything about it gives me a lot of confidence that going in today, where we need a win, because the money would be fantastic. I think we can do it. Let's go. Into the black hole. Welcome back to another episode of Sunshine on Laith. As always, if you're enjoying the save, drop a like on the video. That would be tremendous. So today we're playing against Lincoln United, but first I have a signing to show you. Probably the final piece of the puzzle for me, really. Uh, a right back, Raphael Che. He's coming, so, well, he's not from Rochdale. He hasn't actually had a club for a little while, but, you know, crossing and dribbling are okay. He's got reasonable pace and acceleration, which is what I want, but marking, passing, tackling are reasonable as well. And he is actually on a part-time deal with us, a £35 a week, but I thought that was pretty reasonable, really, and we had the money available. So that way we could take a bit of the pressure off and actually have solid fullbacks on both sides. Really will help us going forward, I feel like, anyway. Outside of football, O'Donovan makes his money running Whitport's biggest pub, O'Donovan's. The pub is popular with fans and players alike and is famous for its spice challenge, the Brave Boy Special. It is believed, however, that Brave Boy has yet to try the challenge as he finds the korma to be a bit too spicy for him. Post-match interview, reporter. Thomas, you've just seen your side win after two terrific free kicks from Sinclair. I'm sure you're delighted with him. No, it was all Thomas Stepanek. But he hit them both so well. Thomas Stepanek showed him how to do that. But surely you'd like to praise, shh, Thomas Stepanek praises Thomas Stepanek. Bye bye. Uh, I assume John is now our on the pitch reporter. Looking forward to more updates from this. In addition, we have now an updated map of Leith, which you should be seeing on your screen now, as well as some wonderful mock ups of both the Blackhaven Stadium, as well as Whitport Athletic's wonderful uh, cauldron of noise, as it were, um, which will hopefully only grow bigger over time. They think, I think they look bloody fantastic, personally. So. Today, it's Lincoln United at home. This is an eminently winnable match for us, and that's always nice to see. Now, with Adam Jones being suspended, it's not the end of the world, because we can move our right back up to right wing and now bring in the new guy there, so that shouldn't actually be too much of an issue for us. We're still sort of in and around that spot. Cleethorpes, who are they playing today? They're at home against Sutton Coldfield. That's a massive game. If Sutton Coldfield could win that, there could be a massive gap starting to appear, which would be very, very helpful, but we still got to do our part. That's the thing. Now, if they play the same shape as last time, we will have a lot of chances because that's what we did last time. They played a weird shape and I'll show you in a minute. So, slight changes. So, Martin will move up to right side and then Che will come in at right back. All looks pretty damn good. Obviously, uh, with a slight injury to Ben Mills, uh, Overton will play there and we'll have... Uh, uh, actually, no. Let, let's not be silly here. Like, these two played like this at the end of the last match and we saw what happened when Ellis Williamson was given those chances. So, I want to give him a chance in that role today. It could be a slight problem for us, but we've got Ben Mills on the bench if we absolutely have to. But I'd rather not. If I'm honest, I'd rather not. On the bench, we've got Barley, Gibson, Popple, Ben Mills, and of course, Ollie Humphrey. It's definitely looking much, much better. And as bad as O'Donovan actually looks here, I mean, you can't argue with his performances for us. They've been outrageous. Oh, they've changed their system again. So last time, basically, they played a back three with like two wing backs, then a midfield three that was flat, and then two strikers. And it was very easy to play through. But this will be an interesting one. This feels like one of those games that is it's, it's here for us to win. If we carry on playing the way we have been lately, you know, we had 5-1 against Loughborough, 3-0 uh, away at Glossop, 3-0 away at Bradford Park Avenue, who are two divisions above. We really are starting to find some form now. And I think Che is only going to make us better because he's just a better defender. Um, and we've really not lost out much with Adam Jones being missing because we've got a ready-made replacement. But we'll see. Maybe this system will be our kryptonite. But if things go our way today, there's a real chance that we can start to solidify ourselves in those playoff spots. And Overton again, here we go. Wonderful. He's going to get the shot away. Takes an extra touch to his throw and he smashes it wide. But again, the chances are coming. Like the main teams were fighting other teams directly. But Frickly are 4-0 up against Kid Grove inside 10 minutes. And O'Keefe, that should have been 1-0. That had to be 1-0. This game has sort of gone off the ball a bit. It's 6-1 to Frickly in their game. In the first half, mind, uh, O'Shea cleared away. O'Keefe will get this. Toomey, he's got to fire it and he smashes it home. Rob Toomey, Whitport Athletic 1, Lincoln United 0. Massive, massive goal from Rob Toomey. In fact, that might actually put us onto 52 points. I don't know. Once again, another assist for Alex O'Keefe. God, imagine what would happen if we'd stuck with Tyler Walker and hadn't got Alex O'Keefe. Lovely first touch. And Toomey scores his second goal of the year. The keeper's not getting anywhere near that as Rob Toomey smashes it home and the Castle Park just goes mental once again. And more importantly, there would now be a, a five-point gap between us and dropping out of the playoffs because we are in sensational form at the moment. It's, yeah, 6-1 in the other game after half an hour. I actually fear for Kidsgrove in that match. I'm a bit worried that they might end up getting double figures done against them. Overton cleared away. Ooh, a chance, but wonderful defending from Owen again. And Overton brings it down. Lawson out wide for O'Keefe. Surely we grab a second here and this game's done. O'Keefe's ball cleared. Well played. But again, Lawson's on there. Elderkin over the top for Overton and a wonderful save again. I think he's offside. Yes, he is. Oh, Lawson could smack one here. Oh, look at the space out wide. O'Keefe turns around the side for O. Oh, and it's cleared away again. I have a horrible feeling there's an equaliser coming here. 
It, it's not looking great. I mean, we are winning, of course, and we're still creating a decent number of chances. But once again, that failure to get that second goal here could well be the killer. Although actually it isn't looking like that so much at the moment because there's been no highlights basically in this entire second period. For the most part, anyway. It's just going to go through to nothing, isn't it? Oh God, surely not. Or break away for us, maybe. Kids have ever got to go back. They're going to win the second half. Well played to them. Millsy, go on, son. Loads of people flying up the other side, and unfortunately not. It's going to be a corner to us, but that doesn't matter. Even if you have to win this 1-0 in a game that we probably should have won by many more goals, it doesn't matter. It's about getting that... You know, it's just about getting the three points here. Lovely work again. So easy for them in those wide areas. The two DMs can just sit there and spray passes around. A Regista one day is going to be very, very nice to use. Can find the right pass... He has found the right pass. It's Smith. He's into the box. He's still got it. And it's played out of play. But there we go. Whitport Athletic 1. Lincoln United 0. A cagey one for us, quite frankly. But we still create some good chances and get ourselves the victory that pushes us now five points clear of falling out of the playoff spots. Still nine points behind Blackhaven. And they have a game in hand. But that's not really our goal. Our goal is just to get in those playoffs right now. Stocksbridge with another win. We go back above Worksop. Our goal difference is sensational. We're good at scoring. We're good at not conceding. All is looking very, very well for us right now. But we're just not quite in the upper tier of this league. But we're still in a phenomenal position. And that makes me very, very happy. Right. Off-camera games, we're going to come back for the Folkestone match in the FA Trophy. Because otherwise we'd have to skip a Blackhaven match. And we cannot be doing that. Right then, we're back. Uh, this was quite something. To pull this one out of the bag, we played really poorly against Ilkston. They had a weird system. I'll just show you their shape because, I mean, back three, wing backs, two in the midfield as like centre mids, then inside forwards, and then a striker. An odd one. And I think we got away with this one a little bit, to be honest. They took the lead through Ratchi in the 61st minute. And I thought, yeah, they pretty much deserved that. But then in the 79th minute, uh, it was Jacob Smith nodded one down. And there, not Jacob Smith, Jacob Owen nodded one down. And there was Danny Lawson sliding in to score his first goal for the club. And what I thought would rescue us a draw. But then in the 89th minute, a wonderful ball whipped in by Martin. And there was Jacob Owen to complete a man of the match performance to give us the win away at Ilkston. Massively kept us going. I did not expect us to get the win once we once I saw how the game was kind of playing out. But we turned off Workborn into the box in the second half. And it did seem to open up a little bit which was really really nice to then continue things we went up uh, well one nil against chase down we absolutely smashed them um they've had a very very similar shape to that which i just can't remember who it was it was their back five kind of situation and we found a lot of spaces they didn't have a single shot on target in the entire game ellis williamson gave us the lead in the fifth minute but we just couldn't take away our chances we had so many opportunities for the rest of this match we just could not grab any more thank god that Cheo O'Donovan didn't have to do anything in this match and we were able to get out with a one nil victory but two more wins and i think that took our tally to six in a row and I hoped it was going to be seven as we went away to the bottom club. But unfortunately, we were frankly lucky to have zero in this game. And I was surprised they didn't actually manage to score. A nil-nil draw. Another clean sheet for O'Donovan, which is good and all. But we really should be doing better against a team who are struggling massively. Remember, they got beat 6-2 by Frickley earlier this uh, episode. And it, I don't know. We just didn't really create much ourselves. They had some chances. Couldn't do anything with it. But we got away without defeat, which I guess is something. Because today, we're going to need all the hope we can get as we play against Folkestone and Victica to try and get through to the next round of the FA Trophy and get even more money. I think it's about four and a half, five thousand pounds that you get for winning this. And not only that, we've got a new sponsor. Seven and a half thousand pounds per annum is the new sponsorship deal, which again, is just lifeblood money for us at the moment. Money that is so desperately needed. But we're keeping our heads above water. And I think what it is as well, I think we've got better now that we've got out of the fixture congestion period because we play a very high intensity tactic as you can tell and i think the problem with that is that when you've got a lot of matches together they really do seem to struggle for example this match was a wednesday night kickoff and it's the first one we've had for ages and i think we just did not have the energy so that leaves us 57 points on the board uh, still 12 behind blackhaven only three behind stocksbridge park but they not stocksbridge park stocksbridge but they do have a game in hand on us they look like the real potential challengers to blackhaven in fact if they win their game in hand they'd only be six points behind blackhaven there's still a chance for them there's still a chance but the football we're playing at the moment is absolutely sensational to watch at times. Those interchanges, everything about it gives me a lot of confidence that going in today where we need a win because the money would be fantastic. I think we can do it. Let's go. So yeah, a win here would get us 5,000 quid and that's big money. Then the next round, if we were to somehow get around that 10,000 quid, th this is what dreams are made of right now. But we've got to do our part. Right, so hopefully we should have some players back now. Still not back. Elderkin is still out. Um, I think he got a three-match ban, which is really bad. 
But there you go. Adam Jones is not fit properly either. So Martin, yeah, you can see what I mean. We're just lacking this. And I think this is going to be our main problem today. I just don't think we're going to quite have the, the fitness levels. Oh, and I'm also looking at signing another centre-back. I found a guy who wants very little money. And he might be the ultimate partner to Jacob Owen to really give us the perfect centre-back pairing. And that would be excellent. That would basically be the final signing in the puzzle, I would say. Although we could do with another DM as well. So how are they shaping up? It's a 4-4-2. We are either brilliant or dreadful against 4-4-2s. That's the problem. Um, we played it. Ira Jackson Jr. Great name up front for them. Also, Javier Vidal. They've got some great names here at Folkestone. Because if we, I mean, look what we did against Bradford Park Avenue. Like, these guys are in a division below them. And I, I still think we've got a chance. So provided the players put in a real shift today, everybody gets up for this match. Maybe we can see some absolute magic here. And most importantly, see some dollar bills in our future. Although probably pounds, because that's the currency we use. That's a nice ball into the channel. Williamson's got the pace to get onto this. Ellis, can he pull it back across maybe? And Mills! Oh, what a lovely piece of play. I can't believe Mills actually managed to make the run in time there. He got there. Perfect opportunity to take the lead. And we fluffed it. But still, O'Keefe can flick this into the channel. Mills is onto this. He's got the space. He's got a finish. Oh, dearie me. That's another good chance. But that is a... He has sliced that like a piece of cake. To horse out wide ball in. Should be easily mopped up by Smith. Martin picks it up though. That's what I want to see. Oh, that's poor. Although, keepers come out for it. And Mills! Oh, you've got... Oh, no. I actually cannot believe that's just happened. He's just missed an... I know that it's further out, but my God, just play it along the floor. That surely was the chance for us right there. Mills has to score. That's surely offside. I, I can't believe he's mucked that up. It just takes one ball and one... Be oh, O'Donovan's. This is what that slightly higher quality, Johan Turhurst, gives Folkestone the lead. And we've had every opportunity to be in front in this match. Open goals missed. Great chances there. But we just fail on the press at one little point. Gets caught out over the top. And, you know, that kind of clinical finishing from a guy who's got 15 goals this year. That's what we sometimes seem to lack. So pushing out like that, and then they're able to find those balls in behind. It's costing us, I think. But if we win it... Oh, please no. Please no. You stupid man. You actual buffoon. Do we just have like a, a thing where we just decide to get sent off in this particular cup? There's no reason for that. They're, they're right there. Just, just, oh, you. This is why Elderkin is important. I know he's done that once this season already, but that was against Blackhaven and they deserved it. I might up the passing directness of individual players again uh, in the midfield just to try to pick some balls through the middle because at the moment we're still amazingly keeping a decent amount of possession somehow. But I think we need to kind of sacrifice a little bit of that to pick out the occasional lovely ball in behind. 1-0 down at half time. We're playing all right. They've scored their only shot on target, but the red card has just decimated us. I've put the midfielder, the one midfielder, and the midfielders, if you count the wide players, and the two centre-backs on slightly more direct passing, just to see if they can occasionally pick out a ball in behind for us or something in the second half. I think that's going to be our best bet. I'm also going to turn off football in the box so we can just get those balls in there a bit quicker. O'Keefe's ball in. It's all the way through, and Martin Smith scores his first goal for the club. Well, I mean, chance-wise, you probably say we deserve that. Alex O'Keefe's ball through, and the goalkeeper has absolutely fluffed it. Lovely assist from Alex O'Keefe, but the keeper should be claiming this, surely. And Smith just in, it comes off his knee, and it's 1-1 in the FA Trophy. That's more like it. Wow. I mean, hey, I, I think we probably good value for that eventually. Over the course of the full match, we've really done very little since then, and Danny Lawson's picked it up now. And Mills flicks it on. Williamson's in behind. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Ellis Williamson gives us the lead away at Folkestone. And I think we've deserved that. Um, but the 10 men, bloody hell. Great play from Danny Lawson. Ben Mills does so well to flick this on. But the defender should be doing better here. He lets Williamson get in front of him. And Williamson just holds him up. Does a wonderful job. His fourth goal of the season already. Um, the guy looks like he's a solid signing. Like Matthew Overton's done well, but well played Ellis Williamson. Surely not. And just look at the space for Martin. Oh, around the side as well. You could play him in. Plays him in. Ben Mills is in. It's too wide, surely. Can he pull it back across? No, he can't. He's still got it. Martin! And Williamson makes it 3-1. Elias Williamson. I tell you what, this guy's got mad... I think he's got real quality for us now. I know there's a, that was a tap-in, but he had to make it work there. Callum Martin does so well to get the ball down here. I thought the chance had gone when Williamson overtouches it here. But he somehow manages to keep this in. And it's just a lovely little ball across from Martin. And there's Williamson sliding in with his second of the game. But just, yeah, opening up our passing a little bit has really done the job for us just because we've got less players to control the ball with in the midfield. And Jones has now got it. Around the side for Mills. Mills has got the quality to get through here, I think. One pass, one player out of the way. Can he line up the next one? Ball across. And O'Keefe makes it 4-1. 
Folkestone 1, Whitport 4, Alex O'Keefe with his seventh goal of the year. And with 10 men, we've come from a goal down to now lead 4-1 in the FA Trophy. Mother of goodness. Uh, ben Mills here is amazing. Goes past one man, just holds the ball up brilliantly. Ball in. And O'Keefe is such a height advantage over the defender. And he, look at the difference. Wow. Four goals in 10 minutes has seen us go from struggling to absolutely flying. And now we're not done, I don't think. Adam Jones, can he get past his man? He could square this for someone. He finds Ben Mills and it's another big chance there. That really should have been five. Those halftime changes seem to do the trick, it would be fair to say. I wasn't expecting us to do that. Like, I thought maybe we could get a draw. That'd be fantastic. But when we went in front and then it just kind of went from there, O'Keefe could maybe kick someone out here and he's won us a corner, which will surely let's see the game out now. If we had to draw away at the bottom club in order to get this result in the cup, then I am very glad they made that decision to do so. And there we go. It's surely over now. There we go. Falston 1, Whitport Athletic 4. Away from home in the cup. Right, who do we get? Here we go. Draw for the next round. Oh, imagine if we got Blackhaven. Oh, no. Ramsgate. Okay. They're at the same level as us. We've got a chance to go through yet another round here. There's a lot of money for us coming here. Oh, my God. But that is irrelevant because we're playing Cleethorpes in the next match. Massive one. And then you know what's coming up after that. It's the derby against Blackhaven in the league. Huge times in there. I mean, we're having a good cup run here too. This is getting really, really interesting now. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, and I hope you have, what a victory that is in the cup. Massive money coming our way. Drop a like on the video. That'd be tremendous. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. That'd be great too. And as and uh, blah, blah, blah. I also stream on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That'd be great. And also the weekends. So go follow there too. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Hold your gun, Capybara. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.